hey guys welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to do a little roundup of the things that we picked out for last week before we move on to picking out new products so this is what you're looking at right now is the palette i used this week this is the mac what is this called mac art library it's designer palette it's got 12 shades i know it kind of looks like a morphe palette if you didn't know any better <laughs> um the only one i did not use was this black shade in carbon like i said they put carbon in every almost every palette they'll put carbon in it which i find completely lazy but whatever um i did like the colors i use most of the shimmers with my fingers i found that i got better payoff with them um the bright colors weren't as bright as i would like but it was okay i mean overall it was a decent palette from mac you know the usual um because the colors were so bright there were no transition shades in them so i had to pull in this bobby brown toast eyeshadow um it's just like a matte color that i like to use for my transition loved it um this is the mac and the simpsons collaboration in sideshow you with their powder blush loved it um I finally tried this blush from Maybelline, the Master Chrome um, Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. I wasn't, at first when I started putting it on my face, it could be the brush, I wasn't loving it. So I just like put it on my face without blending it, get a big round fluffy brush and blend it out with like my, my finishing powder and I liked it better that way. Okay, here are my lipsticks. So this week, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills, what are you, Maud Liquid Lipstick, loved her. This is the MAC Liquid Lipstick, or MAC Lipstick from the Vibe Tribe Collection in Hot Chocolate, loved it. I forgot why I loved it, so, well, I forgot that I had it in one, and also two, forgot how much I loved it. This is the Hug Me Lipstick. I liked it. It's a luster. I mean, it's pretty much a nude lipstick. A nude is a nude is a nude. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. And so then, the next thing I had is the ABH lipstick in Spice. Loved this lipstick. It was like a nice, like ready brown lip on me. Um, then there's the um, collaboration from mac and what is her name taraji henson that i liked as well it's called strip me down they have a um collection right now that they're doing called strip strip down um which i wish they would have put strip me down back in there they should have relaunched that i would have been all over it um my boxy charm came in midweek this week uh, i got this alamar cosmetics blush trio uh clearly seclusion is gonna be it's medium tan i feel like seclusion is gonna be too light um but the other two i really enjoyed isla and toasted they were beautiful so i used that because it was it came in midweek all right let's go ahead and we're gonna put stuff in there uh put away stuff all right so let's go ahead and grab the drawers open. Okay, so let's start on the bottom here in the highlighter train. Um, what do we want to use? You know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to grab Shaft of Gold from, this is a limited edition one that Mac did like a long time ago. It was a holiday one. I got Shaft of Gold, and then I had gotten Oh Darling. They made Oh Darling permanent, but they made it different when they made it permanent. And nobody can tell me that I'm wrong. There's no way you can tell me that I'm wrong, that they made it different. All right, so I'm going to do that. Shaft of Gold. Um, then we're going to go ahead and put in our LMR Cosmetics blush palette in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and put back Sideshow You. And then we're going to pull out another collaboration from Taraji. This one is called 
highlight the truth but i don't think it's the right one i don't think it's really highlight the truth because it does not in any way look like a i think it's taraji glow maybe but this is what it says on there this is when they redid their packaging come on open okay so that's what that looks like I could have used this as a bronzer, but I just like to use it as a blush to give myself a nice little flush. Loving it. Yes, that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to go ahead and open my schmip stick drawer. Alright, so time to grab some schmips. Okay, so I don't really know what palette I'm using yet, So, but I'm going to use this Lancome lip in number I think it's 57 it's a shine lover that's what it says on there if I can open it you guys can see what the color Ooh, it's a pink yeah look at that oh yeah I'm gonna use that yep what else can I take out of here I th think that's the only one I'm gonna take out of here I use these two the buxom ones as lip pencils yeah the lip liner I should really move them over to my lip liner section okay I'm gonna put this <laughs> I'm gonna put this I got this in my boxy charm this is a eyeshadow eyebrow pencil I almost called it an eyeshadow pencil not an eyeshadow pencil eyebrow pencil right there um, you know what I should really grab my fan This is um, the eye luster from Ciate London, also in the burr, in the boxy charm. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put that back, and also put toast back as well. I'm not sure what I'm in the mood to use this week. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this Dosa Colors Talk is Chic. Got that in boxy as well. Um, we're gonna put back our ABH over here. Okay, so what we got going here, we have a hot pink lip. You know what? Let me grab, we're going to grab a glass. I love these glasses, but I can't figure, I can't never remember which one I haven't used in a long time. Man, I love these buxom glasses. I'm struggling whether or not I want to buy the... Actually, I'm not struggling. I'm getting a couple new glasses. Who are we kidding? Um, let's go ahead and grab. And by grab, I mean drop all over the floor. We are going to use one of these ColourPop ones. Um... I know which one I'm looking for, but finding it is a problem. Ooh, oh, that's interesting. This is starting to separate already. This is a Ciate Glitter Flip Lip. Um, I kind of want to grab... <sighs> I'm still at a loss at what I want to grab, to be honest with you. Okay, I want to grab this lip tattoo from Dior in the color 881 it's um the lip tattoo longwear color tint in the color 881 grab that one that's that's her um I need this pulp mud, pulp mud here um it was a weekly wow at Sephora I only buy these things when they're weekly wows um but I need to grab that because I need to start using that for the summer I am gonna grab the lipstick, the lip lacquer from the Sephora collection. It's a shiny lacquer in the color L29. As you guys remember, I used the Riot Girl one before and I loved it. What did I tell myself that I was gonna peel the 
plastic wrapper off. Ooh, did I get that all over my face? This is what that color looks like. Isn't she pretty? Funny enough, these are, Dior has some exactly like this, like the shiny lips. They're like really, they're Dior priced, like $37 or something like that. These are 13. So for the price of a Dior, I can get two. Close to three. Okay. So. We're moving on. We're going to put back our three MAC lipsticks over here in my trusty dusty MAC aisle. Okay, so, Miss Hot Chocolate goes up here. Um, what is this? Strip Down and Hug Me will probably go in the same place. I try to organize everything by like nudes, colors. Sometimes I will do like by finishes like matte, luster. Luster is my least favorite. Um, from Sephora collection. I feel like they go bad really quickly, but I don't know. I might be just talking on my butt. Okay, so what we're gonna do. We've got three lips over there, so I can grab three MAC lipsticks over here. I'm going to grab Little Buddha is one. This is what she looks like. She's a cream sheen. And then we're gonna grab Star Magnolia. Yes, isn't she pretty? Um, and then, <laughs> should we do something nudish? Let's try something nudish, just in case. Just in case. Um, what do I want to grab? We're going to grab Modesty. No, actually, let's grab Shy Girl. That'll be it. Shy Girl. That's what she looks like. And then, now that I've gotten my three lips, I'm gonna put the liners back. I might actually grab a lip liner for this week. I think I have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. Yeah, I got this because of Tara Baby Z. Guys, can you see a trend here? Tara Baby Z is my life. She's my spirit animal every time. I look at her, I'm like, oh, I need all that product. No, you don't, Ramon. You don't really need any of the damn products. We're looking at my palettes over here. <sighs> and the struggle continues to be real. Let's open this other palette drawer, too. Uh, you know what? I am going to grab the Jouer... Oops. Ultra Foil... Look at that. Isn't this beautiful? So it's the Jouer Ultra Foil Shadow Palette. Yep, never used it. So it's all foiled eyeshadows. And then I'm gonna do the Viseart. What are you? The Warm Matte from Viseart. Uh, I only get, like, I only have this palette because when the Victoria, the Victoria's Secrets, the Sephora semi-annual sale starts, that's when I get all these expensive things. You guys, I'm not paying full price for this. Are you not? This is $88 or 80. I don't even know. It's expensive. That's all I know. But this is just a palette full of mattes. And so that's what I'm going to do. So we are going to move ourselves over. Oh, yes. Let's put this MAC palette back. But first, let's get the little piece of sheet of paper that they have all the colors written on, which 
annoys me to no end. Luckily though, the colors are on the back too. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there. That's what that looks like. I don't mind this palette, so like I said, it wasn't like the best MAC has ever done, but I've since, like I used to only wear MAC shadows, now I've since moved on. Yeah, I've since moved on and MAC is not always the greatest for me. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the drawers so you guys can see me putting stuff away. So, we've got up here a lot. We've got the Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. We've got the Pat McGrath Labs Fetishized Mascara. Love this mascara. Um, I haven't had any troubles with it yet, so, you know, as we keep going. This is the Costa Riche uh, Eye Coal from MAC. I saw a lot of YouTubers talking about how this is the, the best brown ever. I hate it. I really do. I hate it. I just, I bought it, so I'm just going to use it. Um, my Dior um, eyelash primer that the the wand fell off into it, so I am not, I have not been using it, to be honest. I'm just waiting for one of, see, the wand fell off. I'm waiting for one of my mascaras to be done before I use that again. And then my Caudalie Grape Water, love that. Use that to, to set my makeup. I know, so it gives me a dewy look. This is the Rodan and Feels Radiant Defense um, Perfecting Liquid. It's like a skin tint, it's got SPF 30. It's a skin tint. So what I do is I mix that with the Fenty 400. You guys, look, I'm already halfway through this. So I mix this with the Fenty 400 and then I just like, it gives me like the perfect like skin. Like it makes my skin look ridiculously perfect and I love it. Okay, for primer, I'm using the backlight filter from Becca. You guys, look at this. It is halfway gone. I'm loving that. I'll keep using that. Um, this is the Becca Aqua Luminous. I also mix that in with the Fenty. So I like mix a couple things in with the Fenty. Um, you guys, I am all the way down to here. Yes. The bottle is misleading, but I'm down to here. Can't wait. Um, so yeah. And then my, um, Alginus, uh, correcting drops. Uh, I don't really correct much. I should. I have it up there. I should use it. Uh, my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster. Sometimes I remember to use it. It's probably because it's in the back where I don't remember it. I'm just going to move stuff around so I can put that in the front. Also, it could be the Dr. Dennis uh, Gross thing too that's making me not use it. <sighs> Eyebrows. Uh, ABH. Ebony. That's what she looks like. It's gotten a hard pan on there, but I don't know really know why. But... This week, I've actually been using my Tarte Amazonian Clay in Rich Brown. So what I've been doing is I've been putting on my um, brow tamer from Urban Decay, my tinted brow tamer first, and then I put on my powder, and it's been working really nicely for me. Loving it. I've also switched up between doing the powder after I do the tinted brow gel or I do the um, brow definer in dark brown so got that down that's that drawer um, using the caffeine primer from Urban Decay I also have the Laura Mercier eye base you guys I'm almost done with this actually there's only a little bit left I could probably finish this soon because look at this I'm seeing the bottom here that's probably where it is yep um, and then I've have this natural radiance uh sample from mac and my fan i should actually put this away because this part of the fan is broken like look at that and this is old and i don't want to break it i actually got this in a garage sale for like two bucks um it's like or maybe it was a dollar yep it was a dollar so look at this 
I really don't want to break this. So I got to put this in a safe place. I'll put that away. Um, I'll just use this one. I got this one in a garage sale as well. I use this to fan myself when I, after I spray my setting spray. I'll just put that on there. And then I have this one too. I might just use this one to fan myself. And then put this one away for like if I go somewhere and I need to fan myself. Beautiful. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, this is the lip gloss I have from my BoxyCharm. I haven't used it yet. It's the Apio Hologra Holographic Holographic Lip Gloss gloss in trendsetter i might actually use that on top of something so i'll just keep it in here just in case um this is the dr dennis girls thing i've been talking about the hyaluronic marine collagen lip cushion loving it so i use this as my primer and then i go in with my lipsticks so then as you guys know i'm doing little buddha uh, shy girl and star magnolia all three are cream sheen finishes from mac then I'm doing this Lacor from Lancome. I have no idea. What, let's see what it is. You guys, I can't even read this. It's Shine Lover in number 50. I can only see one part of it, number 57. So that's what we're going to say. It's probably 157 or 257. Then the Dior Lip Tattoo Long Wearing Color Tint in the color 881. I think it, this one's called like Natural Cherry. Who knows? I can't remember but that's the color. And then the Sephora collection L29 shiny lacquer that goes in there. And my Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude. Thanks to Tara baby Z. I now infatuated it with it. Um, that's it. My usual drawers are the same for bronzer for bronzer. The Estee Lauder Estee edit, um, the Barris Bronze in 02 Medium Deep. Love that. Um, the Patrick Star uh, Give Me Life Bronzing Powder. Tolerate it. Um, it's like you guys see I like had to scrape it because it hard panned really fast. And so I had to scrape it for it to like work. But I use it. Don't worry. Getting my money's worth out of it. Um, this is from the... This is the... Oh My Passion Pearl Matte Face Powder from the MAC Fruity Juicy Collection. I think it was last, no, maybe it was a summer before last. Either way, I, it's a summer collection. So what I do is I use this as a finishing powder now. So I just swirl my brush all through here, like all through it. And um, just use it to set my face, to finish my face. I'm loving this. Best idea I've had so far was to use this as a finishing powder. Shaft of Gold from MAC going in here. Limited edition from a couple years ago. I know you guys, but I gotta use my products. Um, Highlight the Truth Mineralized Skin Finish. I use this as a, bra uh, as a blush because it is very pigmented, so you can get away with using it as a blush. I suppose I could use it for like a bronzer or something. Actually, let me look. If I can open it, I can use it. I do not like this new packaging. Okay, so this is like limited edition. And that's what that looks like. I could use it as a bronzer, but I like it as a blush because it gives me like this natural flush to my skin and I just enjoy that a lot. I mean... Yeah, I just use it as a blush. Makeup has no rules. Move on. Okay. Last drawer. So I have my Laura Mercier, you guys. Oh, look, I'm messing up the place. I just wiped this desk down. Um, I have my Laura Mercier. I am literally, like, I think I'm on the last leg, but every time I think that, it looks like I have more. It just magically gets more in there. But yeah, it's on its last leg. I still like it. 
I still love my ABH um, powder um, concealer in 5.0. This is the Studio Fix uh, Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the color Dark from Smashbox. It's anti. What is it? I can't read that word. I don't know. It's oil free. That's all I can tell you. But I had the benefit one. The what? Are, what is that called? The concealer, like the. It's like the, what was it called? It was like the freaking I can't remember what it's called, but it was like the industrial concealer, Boeing concealer. It wasn't working for me. I gave it to a friend. Too light, and that was like almost their darkest shade, so yeah. This is the Vizier Warm Mattes. Go ahead and put that in there. The Jouer Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette, which was from last holiday with the dragonfly on there. Loving it. Putting it in there. And put my concealers away. Put my powder away. I have my Wet n Wild powder in here just in case. It's unopened. It's just in case my Laura Mercier finishes and I have already have that ready to go. And just like that, you guys, everything is lined, ready and waiting. All right. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a good day. Bye.